Alrighty then, it's the day 16 of the carnivore diet. Um, welcome to the video. This is my first one of the evening. Going to do a little bit longer one in, in a little while, I think, and, and change tack on my other one. So just want to get the diet one out of the way. Um, this morning I woke up and lost a little bit more weight again, which was nice. Again, I'm doing all this without going to the gym. I'm, I, I kind of I'm just not motivated and I'm really struggling to get to the gym. I'm going to be honest. There isn't any other excuse. I'm just not going. And I'm making up excuses in my head and I don't know why and I don't understand it. So there it is. That's out there. I'm struggling with going to the gym. That said, the diet's working. I feel a lot better. I'm sleeping way better. All that sort of stuff. As I mentioned in my last video, I was a little having a little bit of constipation and that sort of thing. I took a, a laxative last night. That seems to have worked a little bit during the day. I don't kind of feel so bloated and, and that sort of thing. So <clears throat> hopefully that's going to, I'll feel a little better tomorrow as well. Anyway, um, numbers from, yeah, so started off at what 90, where did I start off at? So on the 1st of January, I started off at 102 kilos, and I'm down to 97. Sorry, I started off at 100.2, and I'm now down to 97, which is actually 7.1 pounds. So in 15 days, or basically two weeks, that's 7 pounds. So that's really good. I'm sure that's not going to continue um, at that rate. I I don't think it will. Um but we'll see what happens over the next couple of weeks. Anyway, um, strict on the diet today. I actually hit my step count, which was really good. So I had a, was in and out of the office a little bit more today, which was actually good. And my calories were around 1,500. So I'm right on schedule for where I, I kind of want to be. So yeah, that's, that's really all there is to report today. I don't... Oh, I did have two things I wanted to talk about. Let me pull my note up here so I don't forget. Where's my mouse? I wanted to talk about... Where is it? Let me just... Where's my note gone? Um. Anyway, never mind. Two things I wanted to talk about tonight. Um, I wanted to talk about eating and sleeping. First of all, sleeping. What I have noticed, it seems a little bit, is that I don't do as well, funnily enough, on the nights that I don't get enough sleep. If I'm only sleeping for three or four hours in a night, my sleep's not so good. My sleep score on my watch is actually quite low. So the duration of the sleep that you get is a big factor in what your score is. Because I was scoring 80s and 90s, and I've been in the 60s the last two nights but I've gone to bed at stupid o'clock in the morning because stuff has come up or whatever. And um, so I'm going to try and get to bed earlier tonight, although it is already 1030. So by the time I get done doing all that stuff, it'll, you know, and, and kind of messing around, who knows what time it'll be. Um, but anyway, the point is, is sleep seems to have a factor also on weight loss and everything else. So I don't know. Just keeping an eye on it, looking at it in the data, trying to see what it says. Um, the other thing is eating. I When I did the low-carb diet a couple of years ago, one of the things that I read in one of the books, I can't remember, I think it was 4-Hour Body or something like that, but it talked about, it talks about um, having a regular diet but also getting up in the morning and eating something straight away. And what I used to eat is I used to eat two scrambled eggs with some, like I'd cook some spinach in it or something and almost make like an omelet out of it. But obviously I'm not having spinach or anything at the minute. So what I've been doing is waking up in the morning and having eggs. And if you've listened to any of the other videos, you know that I've talked about it before. But what's interesting is the last few days I haven't done that because I haven't been sleeping and I haven't been getting enough sleep at night. So I'm waking up later in the morning and I'm actually finding it more difficult to wake up. So I wake up later and then I don't have time to make the food because I have to do the school run in the morning. So that not sleeping is having a knock on effect on my eating, which means that I'm not able to get up and eat first thing in the morning. And 
I, ha- I I don't really like getting up and having to have some food straight away. But what I'm finding is, is that I feel much better if I do that. And so I think that my body wants me to get up and to have some protein in the morning. So even if that's just a couple of scrambled eggs, maybe a piece of bacon or two, or I like taking something like um, pepperoni, like a pizza pepperoni or something and taking four, you know, f- maybe four, six slices of that, chopping them up into little bits, putting them in the skillet first, frying them off a little bit and letting the oil come out and then using that oil to cook the eggs in because it tastes nice. So the eggs taste a lot better. They're a lot more palatable. If you're eating them every day, they get so boring. So mixing different things into it, um, I find is, is really helpful. So anyway, those were the two things that I realized earlier today that were kind of linked together. And I think that's been having a knock on effect in my snacking and everything else during the day, because I've also noticed that when I, the last few days when I haven't had breakfast really early, that I tend to want to snack all throughout the day more than I did before. And so maybe that's just something from, you know, having been on the diet this long and it, you know, I need to keep my focus or what, but I'm going to get up. I'm going to go to bed earlier tonight and I'm going to get up earlier in the morning and I'm going to eat again and I'm going to see if that doesn't sort it out a little bit because I suspect it might. So that might be a learning. So we'll keep an eye on that over the next few days and see how I feel. And I don't really have anything coming up, so I should have pretty much normal days over the next few days. So we'll see uh, what's going on there. Next week, I've got to go to London a few days, um, a couple of days in a row. So that's going to have an impact on my schedule as well and a bit of messing around. And, you know, it's obviously more challenging to try and eat properly when you're out. So I'll have to deal with that. But um, anyway, mood's good, feeling good. Just need to get more sleep, I think, and and have something to eat first thing in the morning. So anyway, that's me for today. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. See you later. Bye-bye.